Hi everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. Um, we're going to go through how you can import and export your models between SketchUp and SkySiv Structural 3D. So SketchUp is a, a really powerful and easy to use modeling tool. Um, so it's a really great place to start for your modeling. Uh, and if you want to export that to an analysis software such as SkySiv to perform your analysis and design checks on those members, um, here's a really easy and, and quick way that you can do that without having to rebuild the model in, in Structural 3D. And we'll also go the other way, so we'll go from SkySiv S3D, if you've done your, built your model in there and you want to export to SketchUp, um, you can also do that um, and we'll, we'll cover that in this video today. Um, we're going to be using the file format DXF, which is a common CAD uh, file format. So we're going to really focus on, on using that as the primary driver between the two programs. And this, can, this same tutorial can, can apply to other CAD programs that do support DXF file formats as well. So um, this will just sort of serve a basis or an example, um, and we're going to use SketchUp today. So I'm just going to use the web version of SketchUp, but it would work the same way if I was using the um, download and installable version. Um, and I'm just going to just model up something fairly simple. Um, so just using the pen tool here to model some sort of simple frame. Uh, and I'm just outlining the members and uh, nodes which will be the predominantly what does get imported and exported between the programs. Um, so you can see there's a simple simple frame here um, just for an example uh, and this is what we're going to try to export now to S3D. So I'm just going to save that. Um, in order to export I do need to save the file first and I'll go file export DXF and we're going to choose the, the 3D option here. Now when we're exporting, there's a few options that we have, um, but we mainly want to just import, uh, sorry, export the geometry, which is just the edges and the faces, uh, and we're going to use the AutoCAD 2013 version. So these are the settings that I would use when I'm exporting um, my SketchUp model. And so that's going to get processed by SketchUp. Uh, and just on that note, so when we are using this file format, the DXF file format, it only imports and exports nodes and elements. So you don't really get um, the section data or supports or loads. If there's any of that information, um, they don't, they, they aren't really passed through with a DXF. Um, so I'll download that DXF file. Okay. And now I'm going to go into S3D and we're going to import that DXF file via file import DXF. And we have to select the same units that we used on the SketchUp model. Um, and I believe that was in inches. So I'm just going to import that file as uh, inches. Because DXF files are dimensionless, uh, we do need to specify what unit system the DXF file um, is built in. And there you have it. So we've got our nodes and members that have come through. Um, and one thing I like to do at this point is just confirm the length of my member. So uh, this is 319 feet. I'm just clicking that and hovering over there just to, to find that. And I'll just confirm that that matches the en entity here, 319 feet. Um, so that's a really good way just to validate that I have imported my model correctly. Um, really quick and easy way just to, to confirm those values and that my unit system has been passed through correctly. Obviously, it's quite a large span, but that's just given the settings that I've, I've built this model in. Um, so obviously, it was a small structure. Um, yeah, those, those dimensions would make a lot more sense. Okay, so now we're going to go through an example of how we can export from Structural 3D back into SketchUp. So I've got this uh, example of a portal frame model here, so I built this in S3D. Uh, and now I want to export this into to SketchUp. Again, we're going to use DXF file format as a primary driver of that. Uh, and I've got my unit system in Imperial, um, and I'm just going to go File, Export, DXF. I'm going to select the, the 3D lines option um, and go ahead and export that. So I can see that's been exported. Um, and I'll go back to SketchUp and I'm going to file, import um, this file here. And I'll import that as a component. Um, these Settings I can keep the same uh, and just select whichever unit system my uh, SkySiv model is in, and in this case it's uh, feet. Okay, so my import is processing. Okay, 
So I'll import now that into my SketchUp model. And there I can see it's appearing. Um, and I'll just sort of put it near the origin and set that model there. Um, so this is imported as an entire component. So I can see it's all one big structure. But I can right click that and hit explode. And that'll separate each of these, each of these into individual members. Um, so once again, let's confirm that the dimensions are correct. So I'm just going to right click entity info. So it's about 13 feet. Um, going back to my model here, I'll confirm that by just hovering over the member and it's 13.1 feet, which is, uh, yeah, same as, same as we have here. So, um, that's an example of how we can go from S3D back into SketchUp again, using DXF file format, um, to, to process that. So I hope this tutorial has helped. Um, I think it's a great way for you to um, export and import data without having to rebuild models. It saves you a lot of time um, where you have the, the foundation of your model already set there and you can you know, start applying loads or boundary conditions and, and working immediately rather than having to rebuild the model from scratch. So I hope that helps. Uh, feel free to leave any comments below um, or email, email us or contact us if you have any questions. Otherwise, we hope to see you on the platform soon. Thanks.